On this video, I'm going to show you how to use a keypad. To use a keypad, you push a button on the keypad to give quilting commands. You may also select the image of the six buttons as shown on the keypad window on the computer screen. The buttons in the handle of the machine head are hardwired to two of the controls on the keypad. The left handle is connected to the lower left button on the keypad. The right handle button is hardwired to the center lower button. Viewing the keypad window is one of the preferences each person can choose when setting their stitching defaults using the controller definition form. So I'm going to go to Tools, left click, Technical Support, Controller Definitions. Right here is where you can turn that view windows on and off. I'm going to go back up to File, left click, and Save and Close. To hide the keypad image, click on View. Then click on Keypad Window, and in the lower right corner, the keypad disappears. Repeat this to bring the image back on. The top left button on the keypad says Bobbin Cut. It will initiate the Bobbin Pull-Up sequence. I'm going to press that. As you can see, the head moves to the left, goes back takes a single stitch and pulls so you can cut your bobbin. The top center button on the keypad is Select Pattern. This will scroll through the list of selected patterns in the project information area. I'm going to press that. As you can see, it moves, selects different patterns. The top right button is a mode. The mode will highlight each stitching icon on the top of the toolbar. Moving forward sequentially moves it to the right. If I hold down the stop button, which is a bottom center button, and tap the mode button, it reverses that goes to the left. The bottom right button is a select button. The select button initiates the feature represented by the icon that is currently highlighted. The center bottom button is a stop button. That terminates the feature currently running. The single stitch button, which is the lower left, will complete one stitch when pressed. Holding down the button will result in a series of single stitches, which will some use for basting or doing their other tie-offs. The keypad in the various modes have some differences and will change during the stitching process, like setup, before stitching, during stitching, and after stitching. While the stitcher is sewing, the keypad window changes to a control window, and I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to start the sew process. Do OK. Now, while it's sewing, if I press this upper left button, the speed will increase by 5% each time I press it. If I want to decrease the speed, this will decrease it by 5%. Also, if I press this upper right button, that's a quick pause. That will just stop it right where it's at 
and let you look at things, whatever you want. This is called quick start. Press it again and it starts up. If I press the center lower button, that's the stop button, and that will stop the process. Our keypad controls change with different functions. For example, point to point. If I tap the upper right button, which is our mode button, I'm going to mode over to point to point. Now I need to select that with my right lower button. As you can see, our functions have changed on the keypad. The center top button is our channel lock. The right upper button is our shift. The lower right button is the OK. And the stop button is in the center bottom. And the left bottom button is another OK. If I press the channel lock button, I turn on the channel and that locks my head. Right now it's in a 90 degree. Now if I hold down the shift key, the center, center top button says flip chan. Well that means shift the channel lock 90 degrees. So I, when I release the shift, now I'm locked in to the left and right. Okay, if I turn off my channel lock by pressing the center upper button, now I can press the OK button, which is my right bottom button. This identifies the points of the point to point. I'm going to make a few points. With the OK button, I can use either OK. I can use the lower left button. Now I can press the stop button, which stops this point-to-point -point sequence. If more points are clicked after pressing stop, they will be detached from the first segment by a jump stitch. This is like turning the needle off and moving to the next click to resume. After we're stitching a pattern, the keypad window comes up with four choices. You have a, a bobbin cut, you have a single stitch, stop, and OK. After you do a bobbin cut, you always want to press OK. Now if you press stop at that point, it will make the pattern unsewn and we'll try to sew it again next time you hit sew button. So re remember, always press OK after bobbin cut. Regulated, constant, and base modes setup is also a bit different. Record off means the motion are not being recorded. Please see record videos for more information. The channel lock on and off locks the sewing head so it stitches a straight line at one angle. The shift displays additional keypad functions. Single stitch, press this to take a full single stitch. If the needle position box is checked, this button is labeled needle position and pressing it will take a half stitch. Start starts the stitching process and stop ends it. And that is a general overview of how to use the keypad.